Hello, this is Nick with NickScomputerFix.com and here's a video tutorial on Windows 10 Start Menu and Start Screen Customization. And it's fun and easy to do. Okay, I have already opened up the Start Menu by clicking on the Start Menu icon in the lower left hand corner of the screen here. Now on the left hand side up top here shows the most used apps that I've used already on this laptop and if we go down it shows the recently added apps and in my case it was the Microsoft Office I just added that and then we have File Explorer here let's go ahead and click on that and we can see all the files and folders on that are installed on this laptop let's go back to the start menu and the next item is settings this is where we can virtually um, adjust and change all of the PC settings on this laptop let's go ahead and close this out and the next item on the start menu let's go back was the power button here and this is where we can uh, select sleep shut down or restart and then down here we have all apps now this shows all of the apps that I presently have installed on my laptop and I can scroll up and down they're in alphabetical order and I can click on any of these and open them up or open it up and uh, use that particular app alright let me go back and let's go all the way up top and click on my user account name Nick's computer fix uh, laptop and a right click allows me to change account settings lock the screen and also sign out of this account very quickly now um, a nice little item you can do is on any of these apps you can right click and you get this little menu and I can pin to start pin to taskbar and I can also uh, remove it from this list so that it's no longer shown. Now if I click on pin to taskbar it places the calculator in this case icon down on my taskbar and I can use it from there. Now I can also right click again and unpin it from my uh, taskbar and as you can see it did remove it from the taskbar. Okay now on the right hand side I have the Windows 10 tiles and uh, there's two groups by default the first one's called life at a glance and over on the right hand side here I can click here and rename this um, group to anything I wish and down here the second default group is play and explore and I can click here and change the name of this group as well now I can also scroll up and down here and uh, get to other tiles now I can grab drag and stretch this um, GUI interface out. I can also put it back to the default size and I can uh, vertically move it also as well by grabbing and dragging it and putting it back by, uh, to the uh, default size. Now I can move tiles to my liking so I can personalize it. If I don't like a tile um, in a particular place I can move it and I can move it back also. Now I can also right click on any tile and get a menu and I can um, unpin it from the start I can resize it to small medium wide and large let me go ahead and click on wide and it um, widens the tile that um, I uh, chose and I can right click again and put it back to medium now at this point I can grab this and move this tile back up and or leave it there it doesn't make any difference I can also turn the live tiles off so they don't update and I can pin any tile to the taskbar as well we can also make some other adjustments and customization to the start screen by going to settings here and that opens up the all PC settings window and then we can go over to the personalization we'll go ahead and click on that and that opens up a um, menu on the left hand side here where I can go ahead and go down to colors and on colors I can adjust the colors on the uh, GUI or the start screen right here and this is the preview and I'm gonna change it from blue to red and in the preview you can see the red has uh, appeared and if we go over to the start menu here you can see it indeed changed um, a lot of the icons and tiles um, to the color red. Now some of them do stay to uh, default colors, keep that in mind. And I'm going to change it back to the default color of blue 
and I'll click on the start menu and as you can see it's changed the um, icons and tiles back to the default color of uh, Windows Blue. Alright we can also go down to start here and uh, we can do a few things on the start menu. We can show most used apps. We can turn this on and off so it doesn't show. We can also turn on and off shows recently added apps. And we could use the start full screen, which is pretty cool. We'll come back to that in a second. And this shows recently opened items in um, jump list or start or the taskbar. And we can certainly choose which folders appear on the start. Now let's go ahead and turn this on, um, start full screen and we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll minimize this and we'll click on the start menu button here and as you can see we now have a full screen uh, start screen which is uh, kind of interesting if you like that and uh, we can click up here and it uh, gives us access to the uh, menu where we can go to all of our apps as well and we can click there again and that closes that menu. Alright I think that's uh, kind of interesting if you are um, gotten used to um, having a full screen start screen and I'm gonna go ahead and turn that back off and as you can see we're back to our default size on our start screen here okay one last thing in this video tutorial that I like to show you is that you might want to know how to get a app icon on your desktop let's go down to all apps here and I'll click on that and uh, we can scroll up and down and select any of these apps I'm gonna go ahead and click on the calculator one here and I can left click grab and drag it off and drop it on the desktop now it puts a link from um, the start menu to the desktop and we can go back and we can go back into all apps and as you can see calculator is still there it's just that we have a link a shortcut link and we can also do that on the tiles as well we can grab it drag it and drop it and now it's on our desktop and we can open up any of those two um, applications from our desktop and you can see the um, tile is still in the start screen. So keep in mind that it just creates a shortcut link from the start menu start screen to your desktop and that way you can open up the um, app or that tile from either the start menu or the uh, desktop. Alright um, that's it for this tutorial subscribe and like my video.